My name is Robert Bache, Medicare Bob. I own Senior Healthcare Direct, and we help people with Medicare coverage nationwide. In this video, I'm gonna answer the question, what is a cancer policy and do I need it? So right now, you're probably getting a lot of stuff in the mail from a lot of really good carriers talking about cancer policies. How do those work? Do you need it? So I'm gonna explain how it works, and then you can decide if you'd like one. So the way a cancer policy works is, if God forbid you get diagnosed with cancer, you submit paperwork to a carrier if you have the plan and they're going to pay you a lump sum of money anywhere from five thousand and up so it's such a lump sum of money that you can use however you want it can pay your medical bills uh, there's a lot of costs with cancer that are not directly medical bills there's traveling expenses hair pieces uh, sometimes you have to go on a special diet so there's a lot of costs that even if you have a really good health plan that are not covered in your health plan also, if you're on Medicare, then there's still the donut hole to worry about. And a lot of the cancer prescriptions are expensive and more and more of them are becoming Part D medication. So what's nice about a cancer policy is you get that lump sum of money so it can help you offset your drug costs if you hit the donut hole. So let's talk about how the benefits of the cancer policy works with an Advantage and a MedSup. So if you have a Medicare Advantage plan, I really do believe the policy that you should have with that is a hospital indemnity and the cancer policy because the biggest hole in any Medicare Advantage plan is cancer because you're gonna usually pay 20% up until you're maxed out of pocket for cancer treatments. Plus, if it's a Part D prescription, you still have the donut hole to worry about. So if you have an Advantage plan, I definitely recommend getting at least a ten to $15,000 cancer policy because again, if you get diagnosed, let's say in July or August, you're gonna go through treatments for a while, so you're probably gonna have to reach that max out of pocket this year and next year as well. Because if you, if you have a cancer diagnosis, you're not gonna be healthy enough to upgrade your plan from an advantage to a supplement. So that cancer policy will come in big time for you because you get that lump sum of money that will help you uh, offset the cancer 20% cost and the drug cost. So if you have an advantage plan, I 100% recommend getting a cancer policy as well as a hospital indemnity plan, which I have talked about in other videos. If you have a Medicare supplement plan, you know, I think the cancer policy has benefit to it, but you know, you're already paying an extra premium for your plan and you're doing that because if you do get cancer, Medicare is going to pay 80% for approved uh, treatments and your supplement's going to pay the 20%. So you won't have a lot of medical bills with cancer, but as I mentioned, a cancer policy will help you with the donut hole and for some of the costs that are directly associated with medical costs. You know, if you live in Oklahoma, for example, and you want to travel to Houston for treatment, so you and, and one of your you know, significant others or someone who cares about you is going with you, you know, there's a hotel to pay for, there's food while you're there, gas money. Uh, so there's some travel costs, again, hair pieces and stuff like that that come along with it. So, you know, if you have a supplement, I don't think it's a necessity to have it, but if you have cancer in your family, then you might lean more towards getting one because again, it's gonna give you that lump sum money that will help you with the donut hole and help you with the travel costs, maybe nutritional costs uh, and other stuff like that that aren't direct medical costs. Rest assured though, if you do have Medicare and a supplement and you, God forbid, do get cancer, you medical bills will be covered. So that part's handled with a supplement compared to where the Advantage plan, you're gonna have to pay 20% until you're maxed out of pocket. So in summary, what is a cancer policy and would I recommend it? A cancer policy you're gonna pay an additional monthly premium for, usually between $30 and $60 a month and it's gonna give you a lump sum of money anywhere from $5,000 and higher. If you get a cancer diagnosis, you'll get one lump sum of money and you can use that money however you want. If you have an Advantage plan, I strongly recommend that you get it because that's the biggest hole in any Advantage plan. If you have a supplement plan, I don't think it's a necessity, but again, for the donut hole and travel stuff like that, you just have to look at where you live. If you live close to a facility, you really wouldn't have a ton of travel costs, then maybe you don't need it. Um, you know, if you don't have cancer in your family, you know, then maybe that's a gamble. You don't really need it because you're already paying to have all your medical bills covered with the supplement. If you have any questions about a cancer policy, if you're interested in one, you like a quote, we help everybody nationwide with those. So feel free to leave a comment below or call our office. If you have any questions at all that have to do with Medicare, just feel free to direct message us and we'll be happy to help you right away.